Okay. If you get high and mosquito bites you, does the mosquito get high? Listen, I'm interviewing you. You can't ask me a question. In today's interview, we have a TikTok and Instagram influencer with a total of 30,000 followers. She's Greek, she's friends with Putin, and she started business by the age of 14. Sit back and enjoy the interview with the one and only Nicoletta. Tell me the most cringiest TikTok trend for you. Okay, the most cringiest one. Yeah. When boys show off, you know the, the trend when they put the camera down and they have like necklaces and stuff and they yeah, bend yeah. over the camera so it's like the, you know, the POV kind of stuff. So, so for you that's the, the cringiest? cringiest what about the one that they do like with a note, with a thingy like this and do like this? That thing? Do you know what I mean? Oh, like the smiley face? Yeah. Isn't it? Out of all of the things on TikTok, it's the cringiest one. Okay, like, <laughs> what are, it is cringy though. It's worse than what you said. I mean, like, who fucking does this? Fucking whatever out the fuck it is. Out of all the things. Okay, what tell me, things? tell me another TikTok cringy thing then. There's no other cringe stuff. I mean, everything on TikTok to some point is cringy. No, come on. Your opinion, I, I respect it. What? It's your opinion, I respect it, but it's weird. <laughs> Thank you. And now let's tell me your most coolest TikTok trend that you like. Oh, the coolest TikTok trend that I like. Um, honestly, it's the lifestyle ones where they show in, they show funny moments from their lives. Also, oh, it's, it's not on camera, it's just their life and it's funny. Oh, so you mean like the vlog or like just random it's things about their life? Vlog. It's just like random situations happening in people's lives that they just happen to catch on camera. Yeah, that's funny. I agree. That's so good. That's, that's like the best thing ever. Next question. Yeah. The most, the, the, like the best and the worst comment you got. On your post, maybe the best is like the most roasted one. Someone that roasted you, and it was so good that you liked it. And the worst is like the the most cringiest one. You're like, what the fuck is he talking about? Okay, I get a lot of comments about the fact that I don't speak Greek, but people don't really know that. And they say, okay, because I had a video of asking people why they use red in their language so much. And they all were coming up at me. They're like, "Okay, you're Greek. You're basically dragging yourself. You speak the same language." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's kind of funny. I'm Greek, but I don't speak Greek." So they were trying to drag me, but at, at the end of the day, I don't really understand what they're talking about. But to be honest, I, I oh my god, I use I use it so much. I just can't. I, I can't. <laughs> but when you answer the phone, I just said "re." Like automatically, it's just so automatic. I cannot not use it. It's just so normal. Why? It doesn't have any specific meaning. I don't know, to be honest. It's like, I don't know. We just used to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I understand it. Yeah. And and the what and the cringiest thingy and the cringiest comment you got. The cringiest one. Yeah. Um. How do I say that without being racist? It's like people saying that they would. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm moving on. People asking for my fit pics, honestly. For your fit pics, you know the people who have fetish for food on food. Yeah. Like you never heard of it? No. What is this? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Okay, feet. You know people, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there are people who are fetishizing it and they want, they actually can buy your food pictures just to, can I say to do what? You get it. 
You actually, you've never heard of it? That's so weird. So it's called Fit Pick? Yeah. What? What the fuck? I have like... It's so weird. I'm asking for it. I, I'm so surprised you've never heard of it. It's a thing. Take five. Take five minutes break. <laughs> like what the fuck? What are people doing? Like, oh my god, that's so. You can so... get a lot of money with it, honestly. What are you doing? I have a friend, and I, and I always give my friend Instagram. I'm like, I'm not interested, but my friend wants to <laughs> make cash. So. I mean, what do you do? You can make money. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm doing drop shipping. That's so cool. How old are you? Nineteen. I wanted to start drop shipping when I'm eighteen, because it's been like it's in three months. So why bother starting from now? Because I have also exams, so I can't start it. But is it real? Yeah. Why? Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? I have exams. Okay. And after the exams, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna be in the army. So. Well, okay, but you can start your research now. Is it like that hard? Because like they say, oh my god, the product. It's all about the product. It's literally not that hard. It's all you need is just like an Instagram to begin with, some following to the Instagram, and the product. Right, to be honest, my idea is like I wanna be I wanna sell something that I'm interested in because when you when you like something, it's like much more easier. Is it about it's not a lot about the money. I love the money because I don't know, I love it, I don't know why. It's in my brain. But it's like it's gonna be more fulfilling. And my idea is like go on AliExpress, you know the way, get some product that is nice, some t-shirt with a nice logo, positive things on and that stuff. DM influencers, Facebook ads, and stuff, and that's it. And maybe you want to have money, hire an employee, and keep expanding. You can make your own product. Why not? Right, but is it? I still said that. Anyway, um, is there a way that I can create my own clothing brand without giving money up front? So when I sell my clothing, they can charge me. They can get the difference. So on demand? Of course, there are lots of ways. I've been doing it since I was 16. Honestly, I paid people to make t-shirts and I get them for a lower price and I would resell my t-shirts for a higher price. So it's basically me paying for the product itself, but it's my product. They're just like producing it and you resell it. Well, where did you resell it when you were 16? Um, okay. Uh, I'm coming from Russia and there's Russian social media and I used to have a, like a community page mm. or like a Facebook group, that's what they call it. yeah. So it, it was like Russian Facebook and I had a Facebook group and I had a following based on um, my preferences. I used to be a One Direction fan so I had lots of people following me because of that. And hmm. I took advantage of the following and I started selling the product. That's so cool. And what did you say? Oh yeah, you were selling t-shirts. Was it related to One Direction or like just in general? No, no, no. Just like cute ones that are somehow related to them. It's like, I don't know, they're roses or something like this. It yes. wasn't just the t-shirts. It was like cases, t-shirts, like notebooks, random stuff. Is it easy to handle a Facebook group? Uh, I had people working for me. When you were 16? So I was not only, Yeah, uh, so I was not the only one doing the job. And they were doing it for free. Because they loved the group and stuff. So they're like, okay, I really want to do that. And I had people waiting for me to hire them. Just because they were really interested. Oh, what were they doing? So you had a One Direction group? And you had yeah. people doing what? Producing content. Also oh, on the you know page. The pages, how they work. Tell me. Mm -hmm. You know the, how how fan pages work, right? Yes. They basically produce content about 
people. So that's what we're doing. We're informing people about what's going on, what they're doing, like some interesting facts, funny situations, like community. Yeah. And you were doing we're this like through... Yeah. So, so you gave access to them. You, you didn't give them the, the control of the whole group. Just gave them access to post. Yeah. I, I was the one managing it and they were posting content. True. Because we had the group chat, yeah. we were discussing things and I gave them guidelines, what I want, what I don't want, and stuff like this. So, I would probably yeah. continue doing it if I didn't get hacked, but everything's for the best. You, you got hacked? Yeah, I got hacked and I lost everything. Did you, did you do a mistake or like did you actually, like you, you, you did everything correct and you got hacked? It's just, uh, you know how it's your own profile connected to the group and my own profile got hacked because Russia is not that secure in that sense yes. and I got hacked and I lost everything, my page, my uh, group, money connected to the page mm. it, and I reported it to the police but like nothing happened. Of course, I don't think Russia is that strict. So, so for the audience above you you can start your own business and make money and like not rely on your parents from like now because we have the internet from any age. So enough with the fucking complaints and dwelling and like the negativity. Our grandparents couldn't do this shit. They could open a business, pay rent, pay employees. Now there are people doing this for free at the age of 16. You don't have to open a business and pay shit. This is, this is so easy. So stop fucking complaining. Just do it. Like, just pissed. People, people complain. You don't get it that we're in the best generation ever. Like, internet, like, what? But don't judge. There are some people who don't really need to do all of this. True. I don't judge them. I'm just saying that I hate people that complain. They know the solution, like they can do something, but they complain. That's, what, that's the people I hate. I don't hate, but like, I don't like their mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I completely get it. <laughs> so now, what? But what don't, I, yeah. No, tell me, tell me. But don't feel like you have to care about it. Like, let them complain. It's not your problem. Yeah, no, but I, I want to help them because I don't think they realize that when they go to 90 years old and they have regrets, that that shit is poison. I've seen my grandparents, okay? That like they have regrets in their life and that shit scares me, scares the fuck out of me. And like I don't want to have regrets. Because you have you can't go back. So I want people to have a life without regrets. I'm trying to do that. And I'm trying to improve so I can get into the brain so they can live their life that they want, not giving a fuck what people think, just doing what makes them happy. Period. Everything everything is perfect and everything's going as planned, don't worry about it. You're gonna go places. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, next question. Oh yeah, would you rather give your parents one million euros or marry your crush? Uh, neither. What do you mean? What? I mean, um, why would I marry my crush? Because... And why would I give my parents... I mean, I can give my parents money Whenever I want, it doesn't have to be one million for it. I, why would I marry my crush? It means like a crush. If, if someone like came up to you and you had to make those two choices, if you no, if you had an extra one million, if they were offering you either one million or to marry your crush, like which one? One million. Okay, one million, but you have to give it to your parents. Okay, sure. It's my parents. I'm sorry if you're her crush, but she didn't choose you. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Is, is, is water wet? Is what? Is, is water, water wet? wet? Oh. oh. <laughs> That's the question when I ask people when I want to get out of like weird situation. Yeah. Oh, I... Honestly, no. Why? I mean, water is, is wet, but only if you touch it. 
it's from the perspective of someone. Like if you were water, you wouldn't think of yourself as wet, because for you it's normal. Okay, I'm getting philosophical. Yeah, it's wet. Okay. <laughs> wow! I think you and the guy yesterday like got like too deep into this. You like you you both of you are fucking physicians. <laughs> Does a straw have okay. one or two holes? Say again. Does a straw have one or two holes? It has one hole. Why? Because it's one body, and the hole continues. Why would it have two? Holes? Yeah, one hole. Why? Where, where are you getting questions from? I can't say. Yeah, you literally googled weird questions, and that's what popped up. No, and I can't say. <laughs> I, I think that's what you, you googled them. No, no. Yeah, but I think it's No, I, I didn't, I didn't. I found a better way to do it. Should I tell you? Okay, listen. Listen. Okay. If you get high and mosquito bites you, does the mosquito get high? Listen, I'm interviewing you. You can't ask me the questions. This is illegal. Okay, okay. But, but no, don't I'm, think about it. No, I'm kidding. Um, but does weed go into your blood? Does it like... I mean, yeah. So... Some, some substances do. So if, if, if weed goes into your blood, then yes. Yeah, but the concentration of weed matters. The what? The concentration of the substance, the, the weed or whatever you're taking, it also matters. Because you know your blood is not that easy to be accessed. What exactly are you drop shipping? Drugs. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish, honestly I wish. Well, don't be scared, you have Putin on your side, okay? Putin is a nice guy, he'll protect you. No, I'm no, sure. no, 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 drop shipping drugs, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm drop shipping. Don't do anything illegal, audience. Don't do it. Putin is a nice guy. Okay. You can say so. <laughs> He's the nice guy. We can keep this off camera if you want. What? He's putting the nice guy. Yeah, I mean, like you said, if you say so, maybe you disagree. Yeah, I don't think he's a great president. But is he a, a nice guy? Um, <laughs> define nice guy. I mean, not a nice quality for a president. I mean, I a kind man, he does not good things. Uh, not for the country. Okay, not for the country. Thanks, Budin. <laughs> Can you lick your elbow? Ne never tried that. Tried. Did I? No. <laughs> okay, actually, no. Are there other two people came here? So if you if you beat them, you be the, the champion. How do you how do you do that? I don't know. You do it like this. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. No. I I think I think to really like. I'm a serious businesswoman here. What the fuck I'm doing? <laughs> if your customers are gonna are gonna see you now, I don't think they're gonna buy from you. I'm sorry. She's not like this in normal cases. Okay. She's she's serious. Do you like your mom or dad more? You're asking me who I love more? Yeah. No, what, what? You cannot put me through that. I love both. Okay, if you have to, if you have to choose to live like with your dad or with your mom. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, mom and dad. Uh, I would live alone. Alone? <laughs> no, you cannot do this to me. I would live alone. Yeah, exactly. You have this the second, like, most ridiculous answer. The first one is someone would do suicide instead of, like, treating his mom or his dad. 
nothing worth dying for, honestly. Why? <laughs> it would so sad, literally. Um, have you committed a crime? A lot of times. Can you say one of them? Without getting into trouble, if you want. I'd say no, no. <laughs> you can't say can't. any of these? No. Fuck. Okay. Maybe when I was a little, I stole something from a supermarket. That's the thing that I can say. But I stole a lot of times. What? What? A... Yeah, but okay. Another time, I broke into McDonald's and stole fries. Whoa! My friend, my friend, my friend said I cannot do that, and I absolutely had to disagree. I had to prove him wrong. What the f Ray? Why? Oh my God! We like. We're like the same. Right? My brain, when my mom says like, you can't do that, my brain's like, okay, do that. Like, do that. Exactly. Right? Literally, oh my god. I'm so crazy that I was doing Taekwondo for like, I don't know, professionally for like three, four years. And I don't have the talent, okay? I don't have like, athletic talent. Just because people were saying to me that I can't do it, my brain, my brain is so fucking ridiculous. It was keeping me going. Like, it's absurd. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I feel you. I understand you. So, like, uh, now I don't listen to anyone. So, because if I listen to someone, I would do something illegal. <laughs> is, watching, is watching someone smoke weed illegal? So, okay. Depends on your constitution. I'm not sure with separate laws. But with with the Russian okay. law, with the Russian law, is it legal? Uh, honestly, I don't think they care. <laughs> but the Russians don't care. I mean, um, they don't normally smoke weed. <laughs> Oh, what? The, oh yeah, they drink only. Or like, is it just a stereotype? Uh, they kind of drink a lot, but they don't not get drunk. Oh yeah, because <laughs> because they're used to it. Yeah, I mean, they they drink from a really young age, like okay. bottles of vodka. It's ridiculous. Right, by the way, I I always love to say like Russia mafia. Is this like racist? Should I stop saying no, this? No, it's not racist, but what mafia you're all talking about? I don't know. I'm, it's just like it's just like a stereotype, I think, and it just, and it just like sounds cool. So I like to say it. It's like Russian mafia. Is cereal a soup? I mean, with the cereal and the milk. No. Why? I'd love to think soups are not sweet. And I'm standing by that. Because it's sweet, I mean, and it has milk. And? Oh, that's disgusting. And? Mm -hmm. And? If it's sweet? It's not a soup. I mean, cereals are sweet and it has milk. And I think it's something that soups are not supposed to have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> some people said yes, some people said no. Oh my god. I said yes. I mean like because like soups have the the um, the water component and the dry stuff in there and it's mixed together. So logically it's a soup. No, it's not. How is it logically? I mean right, if you think about it, soup has water and some ingredients that are dry. You mix those together, it's soup. What does what does cereal have? But, but you don't boil the milk, right? Some people do in winter. Wow. Okay. No, it's still it's not. A soup. So if 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 people consider it is consider it a soup, what would you say to them? Give me the names. Who said that? No, I can't say. But no. if people if people in the camera said that cereal is a soup, what would you say to them? I wouldn't say anything. I, it's your opinion, you're all entitled to your own opinion and I respect that. But it's weird. People, she's not taking sides. She doesn't want to be politically incorrect. She's not taking sides. 
You know what I'm studying? I'm studying journalism. Of course I'm not taking sides. Oh, she's gonna edit that's so sick. Fucking journalists, they're like so powerful. <laughs> but that's it, that's the correct way of like doing things, not taking sides. Most of them, okay, yeah. not most of them. Some of them take sides. Um, that's not really correct of them. And not professional. I know. But they it's not take sides. It, it's for the views though, it's to get like more views. Yeah. You know what I mean? Next question. Oh yeah, this, this is a serious. This is a serious one. Let's not laugh about this. We got this. Why do you make amazing content? Oh me. Thank you so much, first of all. And uh, why do I make amazing content? Yes. Because I have people from university following. And it gives me extra pressure, <laughs> so I have to be good. Well, I have to say it's that... Because they're gonna see it. My friends are gonna see it. that's what keeps me going. Okay, then I don't know, good for you. And nothing else. Then, okay, keep going. Um, da, da, da. Oh yeah, if you had Thanks. one superpower, what would it be? If I had the superpower, I... I mean, we can do everything with the modern technology right now. True. Maybe I would go back in time. Why would you... Oh yeah, but... Would you like to come back? Or just go back? I mean, go back in time, enjoy some things and go back. I mean, just for the sake of it. I don't think because we're so... Because we cannot relieve. Really Are you going to be bored though? Yeah, without the phone? I, I'm not, I do not mean like go back in time or like dinosaurs and stuff. No, just like where I was born. Like to relieve my own life, not someone else's. Oh, that's so sick. I didn't imagine like you could watch your life as you grow up. Imagine that you can, you can, well, that, yes. That, was, that would also be sick. I didn't imagine like you could be the yeah. third person, like observing yourself. That would be so sick and frustrating because if you, yeah, because you can't do nothing. Well, yeah, but it's so cool, right? Oh my god, imagine I could do that. The, oh my god, imagine like there was a Kyriakos over there just staring at me. Oh my god, that would be so cool. If, if you could do anything for a day, what would it be? If you had like no uni, like if you could do anything, if you had all the money and the ability to do it, what would it be? Oh, that's like my life quarantine right now. Just enjoy myself. Hey, why you... What, what, oh my god. You're just so perfect. You're just like living your life. Like perfectly. No, it's not. No? No. But you seem so not. nice. Not choosing sides. You have your own business. Journaling, I think you love Cyprus. Yeah, I like Cyprus, but you know, we still have some things to grow for. Like, I, even if I have money and even if I have my own business, I still have other goals to achieve. And um, I don't know, it just takes a lot of personal development that I understand that I need to do. True. So, so you know, you're proud but not satisfied. I am not satisfied, and it's a bad thing. But I'm proud of myself. No, I don't think. Personally, I don't think it's a bad thing because, like, for, for me, I do my best, but I'm not satisfied. For sure, I can improve and keep improving. So, if I was satisfied, I would just stay here. I wouldn't just keep improving and improving. So that's why, like, not being satisfied is important. For me, at least. But sometimes life passes by you. That's the thing that I understood by now. Since I was working since I was 16, and I did not really remember what I was doing for myself from that young age, and I literally skipped my teenager years. True, but like, on my my point of view is like, 
it's good that you like work those years so you can live these years. I mean like now you're kind of set. You're better than you would if you didn't do the, those things. First of all, drop shipping is not that stable, if you think so. So you have to come up with a different business plan. So that's what I'm trying to do because I cannot drop ship all my life. And uh, of course, I have to come up with something else. I have to develop my personal skills. I have to like do lots of stuff. And it takes lots of work. And sometimes you do not have time for living. Why isn't dropshipping a staple thing? First of all, with the situation right now in China, I stopped dropshipping for... It started in November. So it was closed for four months, almost. And now people are getting a hold of all the websites like AliExpress, Taobao, and many different. Everybody started doing it, and people kind of got what like those Chinese products mean. They, they kind of start purchasing products from the websites themselves. And uh, they're not really relying on other websites, so it's kind of dies down. If you want to start dropshipping, I suggest you do it fast. I mean, like, what marketing strategies do you use? You mean, how do I promote the product? Yes. Influencers, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, YouTube, that's about it. And, it, and, it's, and it's, it, it's declining. Um, it's declining, not because... Um, okay, you have to understand, if you change your product slightly and you get like your persona attached to the product, and um, it's going to be completely different. But if you're just drop shipping things, like you get them from AliExpress and you drop ship it, then there's no personal or emotional attachment to the product and people would not care about it. And uh, I'm blessed to have the attachment, the emotional attachment because of the influencers I'm working with, because of uh, like the strategies that I've used and I've been doing that for a year or a year and a half now. Um, I got kind of a loyal fan base, let's say that, and uh, it's kind of stable, but I understand it can not keep going that way, and I want something better. Okay, so, so like, you're, with your influencers, you're not always trying to sell, you're also building a brand. Of course, yeah. But it, do you know Gary Lee? Gary oh, Vee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so you, you, you listen to his advice? Um, I, I mean, I've been listening to him for a long time and now he's kind of repeating himself, so yeah. Yeah. He, he has the main ideas. He is, but he's kind of evolved. It, it's, it's basic ideas, because it's simple. But he's yeah, good. Yeah, but sometimes you need to repeat it to yourself. Tr true. For real. I mean, like, is he paid it, but, like, he, he keeps my mindset in check. I don't know about you, but he keeps my mindset, like, where it needs to be. Did you think about, did you think about making your own business? Oh, that's what I'm thinking about right now. That's cool. If you need any help, I have some friends who are lawyers and accountants. They can give you free advice without going to a lawyer that's 250 euros per hour and stuff. I thought about investing. What kind of investing? Stocks. I, I'm investing in stocks and my dad is a real estate agent for like the past three years. So if you want in real estate, my dad can help you. And I, <laughs> literally from second grade of high school, I was age 13, I started learning in stocks. So I know everything. Okay, no. Okay, I have a good yeah, foundation. That's so if, if you want if something, tell me. Tell me? If I have any questions about the stock market, I'm asking you. Okay. So, do you have any questions? For you? About the stock market. I mean, not right now. I'm just getting 
into it. I'm, I was thinking about doing it, but since I have you, I'll yes. ask you questions later, not now. Okay, okay. Let's let's continue to the thing, you know. You can you can like tell me a time so we can call and ask me the questions if you want. Um, oh yeah, how can someone that's watching us like go viral? Like the tips to go viral? Yes. Target your audience, I think, is the best one, and uh, having the quality content. Yeah. Definitely the quality of your message and targeting your audience is the best thing you can do. Like, I think the only videos that I understand are going to go viral, no doubt, is the one that I've mentioned recently, honestly. Like, if I say Greece, this video is going to go viral. I know it for a fact. Or Europe is going viral. So you have to target people. Yeah. Okay, so also like, isn't quality subjective, as Gary Vee said, our mentor? Honestly, it's not subjective, it's kind of objective. Because, you know, as long as you have a good camera quality and a good message, like, it cannot be subjective. What, what are you going to watch? Like, you're not going to watch a crappy video of that quality and no message or whatsoever. Yeah, Would I mean, I mean, I mean, like quality is measured as as being interesting to the specific person. Like you said, you must target your audience and keeping the, and yeah, making it interesting and keeping the attention of the audience. So maybe adding subtitles or overlaying some other videos and photos above so that it keeps their their attention so it doesn't get boring. If you just put your face when there's no zoom or like slow build up or like a music underneath. It's, it's less quality in my opinion. So this is yeah. what quality is. Right, because like, this is a bit out of topic, but Gary V said that he blew up in the, in the last few years. This is when he got his, his team. When he got his money, he got the team, and his quality increased, and that's why he started blowing up. And he had money to... Yeah, and he started yeah. targeting Sorry? the subconscious mind of people also. Yeah, but okay, of course he learned from like, the other years of posting content, but the quality of his team improved. Next question. Yeah. Um, you tell me. That's for sure. Uh, oh yeah. If you could say one thing to the entire world, what would it be? Wow. Everything is not that serious as people think it is. Why? That's what I. Explain saying. a bit more. Because. I mean. Even if something bad happens, it's not the end of the world, they keep living and they have all the abilities to overcome the bad. And um, it's not that serious if they think about it. It's not going to matter in 5-10 years. At the end of the day, we're, not, we're all going to die. It's not like it's changing anything. You listen to that, so don't take life too seriously. It's not that serious. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, not. it's difficult if you like, if there's harder problems, but life moves on, so you, you're gonna keep there and keep trying, or you're just gonna live your life. Time is not waiting for you guys. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, but there are also yeah. serious situations, and I understand that, and I respect that, but we just have to understand that it's gonna be over anyway. True. Yeah, true, true. Very true. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, what's one thing that we have and Adam and Eve didn't have? Other who? Adam and Eve. Sorry, I'm not getting it. What's one thing that we have and Adam and Eve don't have? You know Adam and Eve? No. It's those people that they were, they were the first people and they ate the apple and they were and they... Oh, Adam and Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was one for okay. okay. What's one thing that we have and Adam and Eve do not have? Uh, technology. Fuck. I mean, with the technology we can do everything, but the information around us, for people, they did not have that. I think that's correct. But the answer that I thought was correct is that parents. 
I saw it on TikTok and a kid answered it correct and it was parents. But I think technology also like is also correct. Oh, come on. What do you mean they did not have a parent? They didn't they have kinda did. No. What about God? It's the creator. Yeah. I mean Adam and Eve they're also made up characters. So and according to the Bible, God gave birth God created them. <laughs> God gave birth. <laughs> I did not mean that. I meant created. <laughs> I don't know, so do they have parents? I don't know, so he technically is the parent. Yeah. Good, good point. You're the only person who like mentioned this until now. Uh, oh yeah, last question. This is like, this is also a serious question. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Never tried that, and I don't think I will. That's weird. I mean, maybe it's good. I've never tried that. I cannot judge. She doesn't judge. She doesn't take sides. She's a journalist. She's a professional. Of course I am. We have to understand people. They're coming from something. They they feel something. They must know something. True. The, this is also what the, other, the previous guy said. That people have different perspectives. And you cannot yeah, judge that's them. Very true. That's very true. So, if you like pineapple on pizza, and I said it's weird and you're a psychopath, Nicoletta says it's not weird. And she understands you. It's not. I, I feel you. I understand you. She feels you. She like she feels your pain. She feels your heart. Metaphorically, not literally. Metaphorically. Metaphorically. I can't scream because my parents are, are asleep. And yeah. Last question. And you're still talking really loud. Keep, be a little bit calm. And they literally like two, two rooms next door. It's okay. Oh, okay, so they cannot hear you because be more respected. Yeah, this is what my mom says. Show some respect. No, I show respect. I'm not a bad guy, for real. I think I'm a good okay. guy. Um, Whatever you say. Okay, <laughs> last question. A bit personal. A bit. I don't know. If you want to answer it, if you want to answer it, answer it. If you don't want, don't. Um, are you single? Yes, I am. What are you looking for? So they can contact I'm you. Not looking for anything. She doesn't look she's not looking for anything, so don't send her a message. Okay? She doesn't no, care if you're rich. Focusing on myself. What? I'm focusing on myself. She's focusing on herself. She's rich, doesn't need money, and she doesn't need you, bro. Just stop it. Go get a life. Don't say that. <laughs> Somebody's about to rob me for real. She's not rich. She's poor, okay? Oh, she doesn't need help. She will survive. Do <laughs> okay, she... I don't know. She has... I don't know. She may have money. She I'm may not nice have money. I'm a nice person. I'm a journalist. Huh? I'm a nice person. I'm a journalist. She's a nice person. She's a you journalist. You don't have to define me by my money. No, I, actually, talk to them. Talk to them. Why they shouldn't DM you? Why they should not? I mean, DM me for what you want. Do you always answer your DMs? Mm -hmm. Do you always answer your DMs? Yes. I try to always answer my DMs if it's not weird. So don't like, send no, me weird stuff. Me for my fit pics, that I don't answer. So no dick pics, you bitches. No dick pics. Hey, tell them one more time that girls do not like dick pics. Tell them. from people that we don't really know. Especially. Thank you for your understanding. But you took sides. <gasps> she took sides! That's my personal opinion. What are you, what are you saying? It's not a side. Yes, it is. It's paying respect. It's paying respect. That's not a side. I mean, do whatever you want. Be naked, but do you not... <laughs> 
send this to me? Like, why would I care? It's my personal life, personal opinion. So decide. True. So send her a DM, except if it's dick pics or whatever the fuck. Send her a DM. She would help you. She's a very nice person. I don't know if she knows Butin. Don't worry. Butin will not attack you. And yeah, we finished. Thank you for watching. I will always improve my content so I become better and better by the day. Subscribe and have a nice day. Peace.